Hey Stampers, welcome to another week of Watch It Weekly Wednesday. I'm Aubrey, part of the Stamp and Jill creative team. And today I'm excited to share with you a stamp set that is in the annual catalog. It is the Bird's Eye View stamp set. Super cute. I love all the little birds in here. I love their little glasses. Um, let me show you some of the ideas that we've created coming up with this stamp set. Really cute. You can do really fun and bright colors just like that. You can do it a little more subdued colors. Isn't that cute for like a little book loving friend? Or this one has a little graduation hat on it. Congrats. So cute. We have loved playing with this and all the different ways that you can play with it. But one of my very favorite stamps in this stamp set are these little glasses and I'll tell you why. These circle glasses remind me of one of my very favorite stories, Harry Potter. I'm a huge Harry Potter fan. If you know me, you know that about me. But these look like Harry Potter glasses to me. So I wanted to make a card that was Harry Potter inspired with this bird's eye view stamp set. So cute. So I'm gonna show you what I did and how I did that. So let me grab some of my pre-done stuff. I've already stamped down this cute branch and colored it. I chose this bird to use and the reason I use this bird, if you know anything about Harry Potter, you know that there are owls in Harry Potter and Harry's owl is named Hedwig. <laughs> and so I thought, this bird looked the closest to what an owl looks like and I could make her Hedwig wearing these glasses and make it look like a Harry Potter card. So here we go. Okay, so I'm going to use just my Memento Black and I'm gonna stamp Hedwig right down on my branch here, just like that, okay? And then I'm gonna stamp my Harry Potter glasses just like that. Okay, and then there are a few things that I need to do in order to make this look like a Harry Potter card. So using my Stamp and Write basic black marker on the fine tip, I need to give Hedwig a little Harry Potter scar, which is a lightning bolt, just like that. And then I'm gonna give her a scarf because if you watch the Harry Potter movies, they all have scarves. So we're just going to draw a little scarf here right across her neck. Okay, and then a little line coming down for the scarf coming down. And then our scarf is striped. Okay, and now we need to add color. So Hedwig is just white, so I'm just gonna use a little bit of gray. This is Smoky Slate, and I'm just gonna add some gray here into her wings, just to kind of give some contrast, okay? And then this is going to be a Gryffindor Hedwig. We're going to use Cherry Cobbler and Crushed Curry for Gryffindor colors. So then I'm just going to color in each of the little scarf pieces here. Just every other square with cherry cobbler and then crushed curry, just like that. Okay, and then we'll color in her little beak. And there you go. There's our cute little head wig. Okay, and then on the back of our, our card, I wanna do a little background. So I'm just going to take my Memento Black again with my Harry Potter glasses and I'm just gonna stamp those all over the back of my card, just like that. And anytime you have Harry Potter glasses, you, you have to have the scar. So I'm just gonna add a little scar with my Stampin' Right marker above any of the glasses, just like that. Okay, 
and then we'll put it together. I'll show you the finished card here. There we have our cute little Hedwig Gryffindor. It's a great happy birthday card for a Harry Potter lover in your life. Let me show you a few others that I have. In Harry Potter, there are four houses. So you have Gryffindor, Ravenclaw, Hufflepuff, and Slytherin. So you can customize a card for whichever house your Harry Potter fan is in. So I have loved this bird's eye view stamp set. It's a really fun one to play with but I loved it even more once I was able to come up with these fun Harry Potter cards and make it a little more personalized for me. If you like this product, make sure to click the links below and make sure to share this video with all your Harry Potter loving friends. See you next time for another Watch It Weekly Wednesday.